we're going to talk about the combo chart. Combo chart is one of the exciting charts because it combines the functionality of a bar chart and a line chart along with the options to add the markers. So let's just get started. We're going to just drag a combo chart over here and just let's make it bigger. Though one difference is there in <coughs> bar chart we can add multiple dimensions and one year or one dimension and multiple measures whereas also the same happens for the line chart whereas but this combo, combo chart it has only one dimension but it can have multiple measures so let's just get started my favorite category name to get started so you see we don't have any other option we can do add alternates and how to add alternate what's what are the alternate dimensions we have a detailed video that's present in bar chart prop chart properties in our youtube channel okay so let's just get started i will add a description a link in the description as well okay so let's just start it quantity and sum of quantity you see so what happens is this is simple i have added the quantity but what if i want to add a sales amount as well okay so here we are the sales amount so what happens is you see this has been distributed from another angle because they have a different kind of measures this is in millions this is in thousands so let me just to give you an idea and a perspective let's make the same graph in either a bar chart or a line chart so you know just to get an idea what happens if we don't have this much kind of a split so just convert it into the bar chart. this is another cool trick so you see now the same axis is used to measure quantity and sales amount and if you see the sales amount the quantity seems like non-existent over here so we cannot even exactly compare sales quantities though you can that is a bigger measure we can compare so when there are measures which do not share the same scale for example if we are comparing quantity and in another measure we are comparing amount in one that can be another angle that in one we are comparing sales amount and then we are comparing gross profit percentage so these kind of charts where the values are different from other scale they're different from one another we use the combo chart so this is one we have here we have quantity and sales amount there is another one and that is by the way is very frequently used in analytics that says I'm just making a copy of it and I'm using sales amount so let's just get started with I will going to make some other things so meanwhile we'll do some analysis as well. uh, some look at the properties it's a sales category name my favorite one and we have the limitations over here you have seen that in my previous videos then we have sales amount let's just add a label as sale just add its amount rather let's name it sales and then number formatting you all know how to do with that then we have more properties in these more properties we are going to see that what kind of presentation we want to have either we want to have a bar chart or a marker and will it be a primary axis primary is the main on the left side or on the bottom if we are talking about a different uh, orientation or the marker one and then we can decide the color we can decide the major color is it be a single color my multi color you know by expression or whatever we want to have for the time being we leave it as it is okay and then let's add then we have the option to add it to the master items then we can add another one so this time what we're going to do is and this is one of the very typical one that we do normally we're going to add some of 
sales amount and then subtract sum of quantity with price uh, cost uh, I forgot let's check what was that unit cost yeah let's just do that and just encode in, in braces so that it evaluated first and then divide it by sales amount so this gives us the gross margin in terms of a percentage so here we go and let's just make it little more yeah it looks good now and here we have the properties so we have these options over here. and just let's name it margin percentage here we go yo looks good okay and then we can add another measure where we can have markers but definitely there is only two access so we cannot exceed more than primary tertiary access there is no one so we we'll just stop here as well okay so yeah, let's let's add another one for the sake of it let's add uh, let's add cost over here so the formula of the cost was we were multiplying quantity with unit cost yeah but we want it to be on marker and on a primary axis so when we talk about the marker we have these options so you know you can add many more years each is good defined good <coughs> and let's name it as cost okay so you have nicely this is cost we can see exactly what how it's happening and once we go into the analytics mode by getting it done so we will have the other options then we have the sorting option you know we have used that in detail uh, in the bar chart properties if you haven't gone through that you can just go to the description of this particular video and you will be able to see that okay then with the add-ons the data handling you are aware we can go for the calculation condition but here we have normally we have a dimension reference and a measure reference here we have the reference for primary and secondary separately so we can add those references separately here as well and just you see we have the option to add multiple references so one reference could be for cost the other reference could be for the sales so you know it's good we can do that and then now let's come to the general properties uh, appearance properties in appearance the first thing is as usual and then the alternate state again as usual then we have the presentation in presentation we have the option to convert it to the horizontal you see yeah uh, let's make it a little nicer yeah hey it looks good and then we can add change the position of scroll as the line chart is there so we can have these options and we can add the data points so once we add the data points and then we have the options for the bar chart and the line chart by the way the line chart is clubbed uh, sorry the dot is clubbed with the uh, line chart so the, all the properties of the data points we have are reflected both on this line and that and then we can have the line curve you know the smoother one or we can have the linear one where it's point to point a straight line and then we can control the line thickness in the bar chart we can have control the basic bar property here we go okay so then we have the point labels off and on bar labels on and off and on so let's just turn on the point label so let's see you know yeah this is how we can see that. and then we have the color legends in the color legends you know you can see that but if we put some colors 
let's see what happens if we have the option of the colors over here you see so this particular in this particular chart uh, this 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 color the color specific to my year supersedes the colors that we are going to put in appearance in the legends one okay so that's another trick okay so you know these all these colors how we can utilize them and then we have the y category um, in this case this is a dimension so we can see the labels left position number of values to show max the custom whatever we can do titles that again we have gone through in detail then we have the we can just turn off labels or titles for that matter you know and then we have its position we can set it in top in this particular case or we can set it in bottom and then we have a medium scale the narrow scale just to get the grid line and then we can definitely as it's a measure we can set its range maximum minimum set this is where we can give them that what's ranges we're going to set we are going to set to the minimum maximum whatever so let's just for the time being ignore it and then for the percentage margin percentage for the x-axis we have it we can just control this and then the tooltip as we know this is some basic uh, we have seen that in our previous video so you can just if you haven't go into the description of this particular video and you can see a detailed video on bar chart uh, properties it's a rather three videos so you can watch them and get more familiarized with it thank you very much for watching